today I'm coming in with a quick activation regarding the shadow. How can we bring the shadow to the light? How can we identify it? How can we know its expression that it really is a shadow? What can we do about it when it arises? And what kind of dynamics does it play out? <laughs> shadow um, either gets heightened when we're going through those intense energy waves or like those cosmic portals that really allow us to do that shadow work and that inner work or it could be that maybe you have the intention so you're doing it in a ceremonial context in a healing context that's very contained but it could also happen when you're in a specific relationship or situation or friendship and in that circumstance your trauma or some sort of trigger is happening or trauma is playing out so it's bringing that shadow up to be looked at or to be revealed or the shadow is playing out but also the one that I want to talk about today is the one that is a bit more subtle and it comes up when you're wanting to step into a new timeline you're wanting to step into a new pattern you're wanting to change those old programmings into a new one and the thing is is that that pattern is hard-coded inside you so it's it's very strong in its way that it's 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 created and it's formed so it's going to hold you back from actually wanting to, or doing that step of moving moving forward or stepping into your light and stepping into your light means very different thing to many different people it's really individual to you what does it mean for you to step into your light but it's really about expressing your divine essence this is what it really is it's really allowing yourself to get out of your comfort zone and express who you are, who you were always were, who you are at the core. That's what it means to step into light. But again, again, what I'm noticing is that the more that actually step into your light, the more that that shadow might get amplified. So it's really interesting. It's a pretty cool game to think about it is that the more, you know, you're leveling up in the game of your own in this reality, the more that, you know, the shadow is going to get more amplified and heightened. Now, the thing is, um, that how does it express itself how can you know that it's a shadow so either what i like to call the shadow is the whisper because it's literally this whisper that is inside your own world and either it's whispering very subtly that you can't even know that it's a whisper you can't even hear it sometimes you're even very identified with it that you can't even you think it's you know you, you're just identified with it you can't separate it as like actually it's a shadow or sometimes it can be very loud when you're just about to do something big or just literally step into something incredibly great and it just comes so loud and just paralyzes you or whatever. And this is a sub, this more of that sabotage energy. Now, the thing is, is that none of this for me frightens me. I see it as a way to fear because I know that miracles exist and divine grace exists and things like that do happen when they're when you're whatever you're there to receive you're going to receive it because it is for you what is meant for you is for you and is going to come the thing is is that so not not to worry about the saboteur like oh like i i do not believe at all that life is bounded by our belief system and it's the only thing it's very multi-layered very multi-dimensional however it's a, a big part that we have because especially if we're carrying a specific shadow from our childhood but also it could be from maybe ancestral or lineages curses so it's that same pattern that's actually being repeated and we're so identified with it because it's within our dna it's on a cellular level so we don't even know that it's not ours we don't even know where it's coming from it's like really like those very deep embedded beliefs like they even go beyond what you're maybe you're like but even my parents did not experience this or my parents did not tell me that so where did that belief system come from I did not experience this individual reality where that comes that comes from different other dimensions or realities and you're just experiencing them here so it's important to notice these things and those kind of this whisper so either this whisper could be subtle and it could be really individual to you or it could be an ancestral thing but also it could be a collective whisper and that collect that sh that collective whisper actually comes in and it kind of whispers in different individuals it's like this collective shadow let's put it this way and that's why those collective shadows you can experience them in different locations and different communities and different places or you can experience it on a collective scale when we say about the collective shadow and humanity in general.
So now, this voice or this whisper can literally say all sorts of things to you that, um, and sometimes you're even noticing new ones come up that maybe you did not know. The more that you're stepping into your light, the more you're gonna start noticing things come up like, wait, what, where is that? I, I, I wasn't feeling like, why, why is that all of a sudden coming up? So those whispers, and it's literally, maybe could be telling you you're not good enough, you're not worthy enough, you're, why, why would anybody love you? If something happens, yeah, of course, because this person doesn't love me. Why am I valuable? What is it that I have to say? My voice is not valuable. Um, I don't matter. Um, I'm just going to get betrayed again. It's just whatever it is that you tell yourself, you tell yourself through that whisper, um, is going to just get amplified the more that you're wanting to change the pattern. And it's very uncomfortable because it's paralyzing in nature. Now, the thing is, is that if we do not integrate it, there could be a two scenarios where either completely you dismiss it and with that, you're actually blocking your heart and you're blocking um, aspects of your light. You're, you're, you're blocking yourself because you don't even want to open to that world but what you're doing is that you're not really integrating you're not really bringing the entire wholeness back to who you are what you're doing is that you're dismissing and now what happens that the shadow you think that you're dismissing the shadow but the shadow is only getting more amplified until eventually it collapses it collapses with something very big happening and when that very big thing happening because you don't want to accept it then you start fighting it even more and running away from it and then more chaos and more disaster and more crisis happens and that's what happens right when we block our heart if you see those scenarios where someone even in you know we know in the, in those scenarios and those stories where you know someone got like was a really kind loving person and then something bad happened and then they became this evil person and they're just like, they block their heart and they're doing those horrible things in the world. Uh, this is just an example of how it's like to actually run away from the shadow. And especially if we're completely blocking those aspects of ourselves. Now, the thing is, so when the shadow comes up, either this happens or the other happens where it completely paralyzes you and you start noticing that you're just completely unable to function you're unable to maybe do the things that you want to do you're finding that something is just stopping you you just feel like helpless in many different scenarios of your life and as a you know a live worker shadow worker conscious worker I, this is my favorite word right now conscious because it encompasses all of them but literally a conscious worker conscious way shower conscious pioneer that you're here to step into your life you might notice these patterns, these old programmings come up, those whispers that are telling you these things so that you actually don't step into what you know deep down you're supposed to do. You know it deep down and then you tell yourself those excuses not to actually go ahead and do it. And it makes you feel very uncomfortable. That's why we're saying it actually takes courage to face the shadow. So when the shadow comes up, instead of actually completely submitted to it, so it has become what is steering you, um, that, that is what I mean that actually what instead you're doing is you're blocking your light, you're blocking your consciousness, you're blocking who you are. Instead, what is operating and doing the entire thing is your shadow and then it's projecting. So how does it look like here? And I'm going into different tangents, but this is just to explain is that you're, uh, because we're all, if everything, everything is energy and we're all connected on some dimension, on some realm that go beyond the eyes. It's kind of the unseeable realm. So what happens in this unseeable realm, the more that we become aware, the more we start having access more and more to those unseeable realm, is that when you're having a shadow, the other person will, could, I'm not gonna say will, because again, I believe, as I was saying, I know that it's not always a defining matter, but let's put it in like, I don't know, 70% of the times. The other person is picking up on that shadow on some level and is responding to the shadow. And what happens is that because of that, you project out that shadow as well so that then you kind of hardcore or hardwire that whisper that exactly what it's telling you. I'm going to give a specific example that just I realized played out with um, a client. So it was this shadow of... Um, everybody's out there to get me so I cannot trust the world and specifically I cannot trust another feminine partner another feminine uh, another woman basically 
So what happens is that, so women are not to be trusted. So what happened, there was this friendship that was building up with another woman. And instead, there it, it was a lot of just, you know, a lot of flow, a lot of flow completely. And then the shadow came in of like, actually, the, she wants something from me. She wants some, she's using me. She's out there to get me. And the shadow came in the space between them both. When there was none, there was a flow. And when it came out, instead of actually having awareness, what happened is that there was this projection. So it projected that shadow onto the other person that, yes, there, you, you need something from me. So when the other person was actually showing, still being themselves, still being in the flow, um, not doing anything for anything in return, but just being themselves, the, she was, the, the client wasn't able to see that it's actually untrue and it's a shadow. So she kept seeing that the other person's givings and offerings were, had, a intent, had an agenda behind it because that is what she had as a shadow, that actually everybody needs something from you. Nobody actually loves you for who you are. So then that was playing out in the, in the, in the friendship between them. And instead of actually when it was brought to the light, instead of there's this is the opportunity, either of saying, wow, okay, yeah, actually I can see how that is playing out. Um, there was nothing that, let's say, the other, let's say the other person did not really do anything to get give that sense. So none of that is actually happening. It didn't happen. It was just the fortification of my own um my own shadow and so I take responsibility for that shadow and I'm choosing a new pattern so if she chooses now there's just two choices either she blocks the awareness and the shadow takes over and then it just amplifies that and then it pushes out so then that uh, client would completely push out any sort of closeness any sort of intimacy from someone from another woman in a friendship because it's not supposed to happen. This is not her experience. So she completely pushes us out before anything actually happens in the friendship, right? So this is a shadow. Or take responsibility and say, actually, no, I'm going to change that pattern. And you know what? I'm going to choose trust. Now, the thing is, it's not, it's not a one-time thing. When we do the energy work, when we do the quantum energy work together, what happens is that we rewrite it on an energetic level. So on the, in the etheric realm, we rewrite that pattern. But now, and you feel the, the shift, you feel the shift in the next few days, whatever it is, but now you wanna hard code it through your actions. That is where the integration comes. So now, it's not that it's gone completely because what happens is you're being tested. It's a hard coded patterns that you've had your entire life or maybe more if it's coming from more than that. So what happens is that if you're choosing, okay, I'm gonna trust this person, the shadow is going to come up maybe later again. And that person might say something. Ah, I knew it. I knew it. I knew you could not be trusted. I knew that you were going to use me. I knew that you'd not want to be my friend just for no reason because I'm an awesome person. So it's interesting to notice these things. as the next. So this is just one example of a shadow. But it could be so many things when you're wanting maybe to voice something out and you're like, Oh, I'm never going to be heard or what I have to say does not matter. I'm not going to be received. I'm not going to, whatever it is, just noticing these shadows and instead choose a new pattern, choose a new reality, choose to say, you know what, I'm going to choose something else. And that is where the integration happens. So you don't want to completely block your light and stay with a pattern and identify yourself with it. And you also don't want to be in a battle with it where you're like, Ah, I know you're out there to get me. I, I know like you're talking to your shadow. I know you're, you're trying to do this, but get out of the way. I don't, I'm going to, you know, that's just creating more of a repelling and resistance. And it's just going to like knock at your door even more. What you want to do is just let it come. Give it the space and time it needs. Does that mean you want to give it the entire space and time it needs? No, because remember it's a shadow. So it's going to require a lot of holding holding yourself in the light and if you give it too much space and you don't hold the light then again you're just gonna you know um, submerge submit yourself to it and then you're gonna merge and be it so that's where it's like okay i'm gonna give you the space and time 
and then I'm going to take action. So I'm not going to stay in it. But you need to give it a space and time because maybe it wants you to feel something. No, get to know it. It's a shy, something that you have not been aware of. So it's telling you, hey, I'm here. Okay, let's get to know each other. Start feeling the emotion that comes with it and it's intense. And then you can feel like if you're not holding the awareness that you can completely start believing it again and then just open up that rabbit hole of just, you know, getting into complete the sh complete shadow realm. Or you can say, okay, I want, I'm going to hold the awareness. I'm going to hear what you're saying. Interesting. Okay. I see it. I feel it. I'm aware of you. I'm aware of it. Am I going to expect that you're gone the next day? No, but I'm aware of it. And now I'm going to choose a new pattern. I'm going to choose, even if you're there, I'm going to choose something else. I'm going to choose, even if it's uncomfortable, even if it's vulnerable even if it's naked even if it feels like i'm just crumbling inside you just keep going you keep going because it, it's it's literally stepping out of something that was what you were used to it's completely stepping into a new thing um so yeah it's really about here being courageous it's going to get more and more amplified and heightened as you're stepping more into your light expect that to happen just be aware that it's going to happen because it's going to get more and more fortified and you're going to notice maybe new patterns or new shadows coming up but that is the key the key is really about integration complete integration with that part of ourselves so that we become whole again so that we feel at peace with who we are now if you feel like you want to do some of that shadow work in a contained space in a with a specific intention you feel like you're feeling like there's a shadow that you're maybe battling with or you're maybe not aware of you're feeling stuck in a specific area of your life you want to do some of that movement some of that energy work you can reach out to me for a one-on-one -on -one and book an online session with me and if you like this message please also like share and subscribe and leave your comments below